Iceland has declared a potential collapse of the AMOG a national security concern and an existential threat. They say the AMOG, or Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, may collapse within the next couple of decades as global temperatures keep rising. So why is the AMOG important? The major Atlantic Ocean current system brings warm water from the tropics northward toward the Arctic, and the flow of warm water helps keep Europe's winters mild. But warming temperatures are now speeding the thaw of Arctic ice and causing meltwater from Greenland's ice sheet to pour into the ocean. Scientists warn the cold fresh water could disrupt the current's flow. A collapse of the AMOG could trigger a modern-day ice age for northern Europe. That means winter temperatures across the region would fall to new cold extremes, bringing far more snow and ice. Stefan Ramsdorf is from Germany's Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. Well, the Atlantic overturning circulation is responsible for Europe's mild climate by transporting a huge amount of heat into the North Atlantic that corresponds to about 50 times the total energy use of humanity. And so, North, especially Northwest Europe is several degrees warmer than other regions on this similar latitudes. An Atlantic current collapse could have consequences far beyond Northern Europe. Scientists say it could potentially destabilize long-time rainfall patterns, relied upon by farmers across Africa, India and South America. It could also contribute to faster warming in Antarctica. Iceland's climate minister said the government is assessing what further research and policies are needed, with work underway on a disaster preparedness policy. Asa Perklin Yama's daughter is a member of the Icelandic parliament. When we get more heat and more cold, there will be more uh, dramatic weather conditions. We will have more bad weather and stormy weather, which will means we cannot to travel to and from our country. We could have ice around Iceland, so the ships will not be able to sail to the country. It is a real existential threat.